and they tear up everything in their path. They are wild Russian boars, and they're overrunning Texas from rural ranches to suburban lawns. The solution to this Russian invasion is collusion. Collusion between hunters, ranchers, and wildlife managers across the state. Tonight, Channel 2's Owen Conflenti shows you the damage they've already done and the steps being taken to control the population. Some of them look like a wild version of a barnyard pig. Other ones are real scary looking. Big chested, long tusks. Foreign invaders are sweeping across Texas, rampaging through crops, tearing up woodlands and wetlands. Even our homes aren't safe from these marauders. It's a losing cause to try to get rid of them. The pig bomb is blown up. What are these beasts? They're wild Russian boars, brought to the U.S. in the 30s, 40s, and 50s for sport hunting. Some escaped and quickly started breeding with feral domestic hogs. The hybrids are very good at having larger litters and surviving at a higher rate than true Russian boars. And wait till you hear how fast their population can double. Pig populations have the capacity to double in just five years. Texas Cooperative Wildlife Services estimates there are 2.6 million feral hogs in our state, and that's a conservative number. That's essentially the population of the city of Houston. The feral pig explosion now infests every county in Texas. There's two types of people in Texas, people that have feral hogs and people that are about to have them. And it's hitting all of us in the wallet. It's calculated that each pig does between $200 and $400 worth of damage. Rooting up crops, sneaking under fences around commercial land and home gardens, contaminating watersheds with waste and wallows, and spreading disease to livestock. Last year alone, all that destruction added up to... It's over $500 million in damage statewide. It's a huge problem. Problem. Yeah. We caught sight of these wild boars in a cattle pasture between Richmond and Fulcher. Look closely. They're almost hidden by the tall grass. This is a uh, irrigation line. Feral hogs yeah. and Russian boars frequently root through Bill Archer's pecan groves. The damage takes a big bite out of his annual bottom line. Probably about $10,000 a year. To fight back, he put up traps with the help of the Fort Bend County Extension Office. Over the last four or five years, we've taken well over 150 of them out of here. Traps are one of the best ways to control feral swine spread, but not foolproof. They're not even easy to trap, really. They're smart. So smart, if you don't catch them on the first try, they become what we call trap smart, and they end up causing more damage in the long run. Hunting also helps thin out infestations. In Texas, there are no restrictions on hunting feral hogs. It's open year-round. That includes hunting from helicopters. But so far, the combination of hunting and traps hasn't put a lid on feral hog populations. So the state is studying whether pig contraception or poisons could be effective without endangering other wildlife. In the meantime, state wildlife officials encourage landowners to eradicate feral hogs on their property through fencing, hunting, or trapping. And head on over to the Investigates page at click2houston.com to see three simple ways you can make your home less of a target for these wild Russian invaders. Owen Conflenti, KPRC, Channel 2 News.